Yo people, what's going on? Thanks for coming back to another episode of Aura Audio, and today we're going to be delving into two of your amazing ideas. So I am the best says, I've been using Tile Molester a lot and simply could not get used to it. Then I switched to YYCHR and I started getting used to that more. I was actually able to change the looks and colors of an actual sprite in game. I changed the star post in Sonic Advance 1 and 3 without any issues. And next we have Michaela Cameo says nice, finally a good video about this thanks and I think she was referring to one of my ROM hacking videos and she also said I'm seeing some more people comment on Harvest Moon, is it possible that we could do this with Sim series? So thank you to I am the best and Michaela for your ideas and if you have your own idea make sure to comment it down below and it may be featured on my new website. Also, while you're at it, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications because the algorithm these days is kind of crazy and if you're unlucky, you may never see one of my videos again. So the first thing I do with a lot of games you guys suggest me is I will actually open the game on my console, on the emulator, and I will play that game. What I do is I try to find something that I might want to edit or change. Because I gotta go into this with a goal, kind of knowing what I what I want to accomplish. And so the cool thing about Sims is there's all this like architecture, kind of layouts. So there's a lot of stuff to change here. So I just kind of explore it. While I was exploring, I thought, wow, well, these tiles are kind of interesting in this room, so let's see if we can change those. And once I find the place I want to change, then I open up another program you might be familiar with, Visual Boy Advance. It's basically another program that allows us to play the game, except this time we're going to extract all those little colors you see on the screen from the game so we can have them. So everything you see here, we're going to go to the palette viewer and all those background colors are right in there. All we need to do is hit this save BG button and that's going to save a file of all of these to our desktop. Next we're going to open another program called no cache GBA and the cool thing about this program is we can see the locations of the image on screen inside the Game Boy Advance memory. So once you go to your place in the game that you want to edit, go ahead and open up the tile viewer. And once we click on the correct background, we can actually see a layout of all the tiles on screen and the address. So what we can do now is we can press Command or Control G on your keyboard when you're in this window and that will bring up a search bar and then we're gonna go to the address that was in the window we saw earlier and once we have that address we can open up another program called HXD and we're gonna open up the ROM inside of there click command or control F and that's gonna find all the hex values we need so we can type in that same sequence we see inside the no cache GBA and make sure to type in a long sequence otherwise you won't find it unique and there we go we can see the address right there so what we want to do now is open up YYCHR we can open the ROM again there's gonna be a lot of that in this opening up the ROM and we want to go to that address and once we've arrived there you can sort of see it, but what's going to help us is that palette we created earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And we, we see we have multiple palettes actually inside of one file. Uh, so that's the correct palette right there, or it seems to be. So what we're going to do now is shift the image over a little bit and make sure everything's lined up all nice. And now's the fun part. We can actually select a color and start drawing on the image with a pencil tool. This is going to kind of mark the boundaries for us. And once we have something, go ahead and save. And we can open up the ROM again. Now 
Now an interesting thing you'll notice is there's one square that's out of place. Well that's because this game actually has two palettes that it uses for different shades of lighting. So what we need to do is we need to find the alternate palette and we need to change the color. If you all want to see how to edit those palettes, make sure to stay tuned for the next video. And I hope you enjoyed this one. If you do, it means a lot to me. Please leave a like. These videos are hard to make. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.